Hey Rubies, welcome back to my channel. If you're here and you're not a Ruby, hi, hello, I'm Manny. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, join our little family, and let's grow together, you know? Thank you for being here anyway. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this furrow using my crochet hair. Well, not my crochet hair, but using crochet hair, the Jamaican Bones crochet and you'll get a flawless, natural looking install. Every time I'm gonna show you my tips and tricks and how to get the perfect install every single time. So stay tuned. She was always lying just to shake up. I was always wanting just to take up. Cause she was always flying from the waist up. But now she's running late from her makeup. She was always lying, a shame. Okay, so here I'm showing you guys my big head. I don't normally do this. <laughs> Ew. But yeah, um, the cornrows are 10 cornrows in the front, 5 cornrows in the back, as you can see now. So I just a 10 in the back and then I group them 2-2 two, two, and then make 5 cornrows in the back. Simple, simple. Primary school hairstyle. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And this is the lateral, the what is a side view <laughs> this is a side view now i'm just showing you guys how to separate um one of the little bundle curls thing so you're just going to part it in half there you go and then you're just going to get rid of the little frizzy hairs just get rid of those because it's going to make your hair look messy and then you just want to like take your time you see i'm kind of like pulling it so the curls can like separate on their own and you can make them as big or as small as you want them sometimes i just separate this into two and sometimes i go further than that so it just depends on however you're comfortable the smaller they are the more like thick i guess your hair would appear and the fluffier it would appear and then after that i just get you know to get the coils back i just kind of like finger curl it and then you can just cut off the excess at the ends there you go so to begin, I just like pin up my hair, you know, no, no big deal, no, nothing too fancy. And now we're just going to go straight in there, we're just putting in that, I don't know that thing name, and then just like loop to loop the hair now, we're just going to go in the middle and go pull once, twist, pull again, and that B is sick god i should have never had done this like after i did my nails i don't know why i did that like this is tragic trust me you're just going to see that throughout the video where my nails are just like pissing me the fuck off but yeah like i'm not going to get to talk through this part because i'm just doing the same thing over and over the only thing that you guys need to know is that basically i only use one pack of hair for the back part of my head that's how I like kind of reference the thing so I don't be using like too much hair in my head or too little. So where you have the five cornrows, I just take one whole pack and I just done it around there. So and then I'll go the second pack, the front of my hair. Normally I use about three and a half packs of my of hair total. Three and a half packs to four if I'm feeling like fancy. But yeah, definitely finish one pack of hair. I back on my head. And yeah, just going to leave you guys now to just watch me just continuously put the hair haphazardly haphazard haphazardously in my head no method to my madness it's just like going wherever the fuck i put it so enjoy you only tell me what you think i want you're only riding shotgun cause you know i feel
Okay. All right, so here I finished the whole entire one pack at the back of my head. I don't know why the camera is so low. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't notice. But yeah, I'm just showing you that I didn't pass that line of demarcation between the five back corners and the front ten corners. I just kind of like left it at the back. So I opted to make this clip because there was some construction going on in my apartment area, whatever. It was just mad annoying. But I was just showing you guys how small I separated the front curls in comparison to the back ones because at the end of the day, we don't want to rip our edges out and we don't need the tension on our edges. And people like me who have very fine strands that wanna go together at all. So yeah, they're relatively small compared to the hairs at the back of my head. So just showing y'all that. Let me get you guys closer. So like you see, these two here, we're gonna do them individually. Like, not like a big one, cause I don't know if you could do that, but I'm just telling you, so don't do that. Don't do that. Cause it's the bottom one, you can still do it normal. Like it, like how you secure the rest of them to secure that. So I go in with our tiny little sections and we roll that up so it's not as frizzy. I'm just going to secure it as like we secure the other one. And we just do the same thing to the rest of them. Right, this is gonna be the last one that I'm gonna install. And there you go. That's it. Now we're gonna shape the hair. All right, to me, I'm gonna style the hair. Now, to me, this is the most fun part. You probably gonna wanna do this in front of a mirror. But we're gonna freestyle it because a bit turn. All right. So you're gonna make your bangs now. You just wanna part, like, take out where you want your bang to be. And you're not going to just cut straight across like that. See, people do that. That's a no-no. You're gonna gradually just cut. It's so strong. The main thing is to get it out of your eye first because you know you're not gonna want it this so. Some can be longer than others. I don't like the bangs being too short, so you'll find that I don't cut it a lot. Eventually I'll go through gradually I'll go through and I'll it'll, I'll make it shorter. And now you just kinda go through the ends and just Get rid of the little pesky strand. Then. You just have to play with it, see what you like. I like to get rid of the part right behind my um to my cheekbones, kind of show. Even though I don't want it as a part of my bang, really. So far, I don't have to do much to it, like. All right, guys, so this is the finished product. <laughs> I love it, it turned out great as usual. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and hit the like button, share it with friends, family, whoever you think will end up liking this hairstyle or you know tag some people below who you think this we can let this one not even know who you think this hairstyle will suit <laughs> all right rubies i love you guys i'll see you in my next video